What if I tell you that you can start a biotech company? Yes, you. You and many others just like you are searching the internet how to get a job in the biotech industry. But if, what if I turn the table and say you can give jobs to others? Well, it sounds a little dreamy, but it's truth. It can be done. And that is the reason today I'm making this video. If you watch this video till the end, I'm going to give you a surprise also. Okay, so you will have to watch this video till the end. In the middle somewhere, I'll give the surprise, right? So to start the video, here's the first point. Yes, it is very much possible to start a biotech company in India. Yes, it can be started by people like you. And yes, you have all the capacities all the capabilities and all the potential to start a company in the biotech sector. People like you, people as young as you have done that. So if you can today decide that I want to start a biotech company, this video is going to be the best ones among several of them. Now, let's get started with what does qualify me? So, we, I started a biotech company, biotech edtech company way back in 2006 when I was just 19. I was just getting started with my bachelor's. So if I can start at 19, why can't you start as a 22 year old or 24 year old or whatever is the age, okay? You can do that. But the first thing which is very, very important for all of you to know is the business idea. Now everything revolves around the business idea. Now, why it is very, very important to have the right business idea for your biotech company is because later on changing it will be very difficult. You know, there are three types of companies in this world. One which fails, one which succeeds and becomes a billion dollar company and the one in the middle which stays a mediocre company. I personally feel that you should start a billion dollar company, but how to do that? If you follow this series, which I'm coming up with, this is this video is one of them. I'm going to tell you exactly step by step. How can you start your own biotech company? So the first thing, business idea. Now, never ever copy someone's business idea and try to start a company. That's the worst thing to do in this world because you think that, okay, if I, if there is an Uber in the world, if I start a Ola, I can be successful. Temporarily, you can be successful, not forever. Remember, remember your aim is not just to start a biotech company and uh, earn billions of dollars. You have to start a company which is durable. Let's take the example of Theranos. The business idea was great, but execution was worse. She lied to her investors. Today she's in jail. So what I'm trying to tell you here is don't copy or don't try to steal or don't lie. Instead, look for a genuine business idea, biotech business idea. It can be as simple as a edible wax which creates shine on the apple. It can be as simple as a food, a finished pro food product. It could be as simple as agri-based products, okay? It could be as simple as aquaculture, whatever is your, you know, business idea. But it has to be unique. It has to be very, very unique. So that's the first. Business idea should be there and it should be unique. The second, your business idea should be non-copyable. Yes, you heard me right. Now, why do I say that? Remember, as a 19-year-old or a 20-year-old, 22-year-old, you have a lot of energy. You want to start a company. You want to do a lot of stuff in this world. You want to become tomorrow's Elon Musk of biotech industry or Kiran Majumdar Shah of biotech industry. But you're forgetting one thing, that there are other people who are watching you. And if they find that they can easily copy your product, done. They will do it. So on one hand, you found a new business idea but then you did not make it non-copyable so people can copy. So that is the reason I always say that if you are starting a biotech company, uh, probably, uh, you know, having a PhD helps. But even if you don't have, that doesn't matter. As long as you have the zeal to learn to do new things and be innovative. Okay. So yeah. So even if you have don't have a PhD, you can still start a company, biotech company. You can still, uh, you know, grow the company. But you have to make it non-copyable. First is... Have the business idea which is unique, no copying, but make sure that nobody else can copy. Okay, now let's move on to the third one. Third one would be look for a business partner. Now, 
starting a company nowadays is easy you have one person company opcs also you can register as a opc not a private limited company but it is always important to have a business partner it can be your friend it can be your relative it can be your own sister or brother it can be somebody whom you can trust so how to look for a business partner is very important here because you know 70% of the, of the companies fail because the founders fought okay not just by a company any company the founders will fight and the company will collapse so it is very important for look for a business partner who is like you know a complement to you you both fit in together very well okay and that's why you know siblings or uh, like brother or sister or a friend who has been there with you for 10 years together that really works okay now even if you don't have you can always look for or maybe you can start your one person company how does it matter but it helps you in the long run because when suppose you fall sick so your business partner is there to take care of the company while you recover you know these things matter so yeah that's one thing now once you have got your business partner next is to register your company so obviously there is a registration process and all that i have included the link in the description i have written an ebook okay and it has got much detailed description about how to register a company in india for the biotech sector and how to get all the approvals you can check the price is very very low um, you can buy it out and you can read from there all the details but yeah let's come back to the video now what really happens next when you are trying to start a company you have the business partner you have to you know pay some money to the roc which is registrar of companies and then you have to get the tag of a private limited company they will issue you a certificate of incorporation a company pan card and stuff like that and then yeah so now you are a private limited company congratulations well it's time to celebrate but remember we have to now we 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 have to get started with the real challenge now i'll tell you the story so biotechnica uh, we started as a non registered company because we didn't know how to register so 2006 we started but we didn't know how to register so on 3rd february 2011 we finally decided okay now which we should register it as a private limited company so we did it so from 2006 to 2011 we really didn't had a identity so registering a company gives you a solid identity so that's very important so now so you have a unique idea you make made sure it is non copyable you have found the business partner and now that you have registered the company the real game begins working on your idea and for that you need capital yes now when you want to start a biotech company and if it requires a lot of manufacturing then you require crores of rupees right so don't get to that advanced level immediately because you are just a 24 year old or a 22 year old just getting started with your life so don't get to that okay instead look for a small idea okay small part of the same idea which can be sold right and get started with that which requires lesser capital probably your pocket money something which so that you can test out your idea whether it works or not because you think your idea is great but what if the other person thinks it's stupid right so now that you have registered you have the idea you have to work on the idea so you need the capital but you don't have a lot of crores right so instead you instead of having that you spare out some pocket money and develop a model okay develop a model of the product and that can be called as minimum viable product that is mvp so you create a minimum viable product and show it to your friends your family members your teachers professors probably me and take a feedback whether this product will work in the market or not will you buy this product so take a survey do a survey right and then conclude okay if my if people are ready to buy my mvp which is minimum viable product then only i will i should look for investors now when you look for investors you will not get any okay that's the truth now why you won't get investors in the biotech sector in india so easily is because the number of investors are very less in the biotech sector and they probably are not as educated as us for about the biotech sector and they are looking for quick returns but yeah if you approach us investors staying in india also you can do that they will fund you even bill gates will fund you right he has gates and melinda melinda gates foundation bill and melinda gates foundation even they fund you so there are many billionaires in us uk china they will fund you india maybe a few 
makes you interest okay so once that part is done let's let's make sure that we create a separate video for the you know how to get an investor for your company we'll do that later but yeah for now you've got an investor let's presume that you've got an investor so you have the minimum viable product you have the investor you have the money next is what start with the team you have to look out for a team who will work on your idea and make it a success now when you try to do that what goes wrong nobody wants to work for you because you are a 19 year old i have faced that you are a 20 year old 22 year old and people in india are like how can i work under him he is so young okay and people will be like are he he doesn't know anything why should we work for him instead we can also start our own company right so this kind of things will happen so to avoid this from happening what you have to do is look for passionate people who are passionate about your idea and then hire and you can even post jobs on biotechnica and uh, you know get people who can work for you so you can initially look for some interns who will work part time or full time with you or maybe you look for you know regular employees and then you start working on your idea right now let's assume that you didn't did not get the investment from the investor so should you leave that idea if you believe in the idea you should go for the idea so don't bother whether the investor comes or not don't bother you just pursue your idea as long as you have the burning desire to start a company run a company and make it a huge success that's probably that's how i did so yeah people will have their own reservations that how can i work for a, such a young person don't bother theek hai if there is any problem talk to me i'll help you out there so yeah so that happens now moving through the next step so you have a team which is working on your idea make sure that the team is creating the product which is commercializable start going to the market you will have to commercialize you will have to reach out to people try to sell try to show the product take their feedback iterate reiterate innovate reinnovate but don't give up because this is the real hustle you have to really grind and make sure the best lassi comes out of your company right so that's where lot of you know failures will come your way so with each fa failure you will grow you will learn but don't get disheartened this is how it works now that product has achieved a product market fit you can try to scale it let's not capture the scaling part in this video but otherwise this will become huge but yeah so uh you scale your product and you can grow it further so that's about uh how you you know start a biotech company in india but there are a lot of small steps which i have highlighted in the book which i have written but to be very very frank uh, this is like the most liberating thing for a 22 year old instead of looking for a job you start a biotech company that's the first thing the second thing your parents as well as probably all your relatives will tell ki ladka bigad gaya hai you know the child has got spoiled and iska dimag kharab hai but just don't bother okay if you are strong if you have strong will power you can do that the third is why did i tell you this because i myself started the company at the age of 19 and i now know that in by the in the next 10 years there will be 3000 new companies which will come up in the biotech sector in india and that's where the surprise comes i want to be a part of this revolution i want you to start a company and i want to make sure that you start the company wiser way you don't do the mistakes which i did so if you want to start a company come meet me virtually online or offline you can come down at bangalore and talk to me talk to me you can sign a non disclosure agreement if required talk to me tell me what is your business idea what are your plans If you're not getting a business partner, I'm ready to become your business partner. If you are looking for an investor, I'm look I'm ready to become your investor. If you're looking for a mentor, I'm ready to become your mentor. But I want to make sure that every child, every 20, 22 year old, old child who is on the other side of this camera listening this video wants to start a company, he should not struggle the way Shekhar Suman and Neha Suman struggled. I want to make sure that each person out there does something unique for the industry and i want to be a part of this revolution where 3000 new companies are going to come up in the next 10 years i know it so i'm telling you want to be a part of this biotech revolution come join us in our biotech entrepreneurship incubation program which will be launching very very soon it will be absolutely free for those who for whom i believe the idea is solid i'll take them directly i'll train them and i'll make sure that they go ahead and start a company so if you have that 
comment below let me know what other things you would like to know about starting a biotech company because here's a secret to earn crores and crores of rupees and billions of dollars to be made the next growth of biotech sector will come from india and it will come because you will decide to start a company see you soon on the other side till then take care bye bye